Welcome to Atlantic International University, the university where you can get your optimal development in all aspects, academic, professional, and social. AIU's philosophy, based on the United Nations Human Rights Declaration, focus on andragogy, meaning adult education. We understand the term education as getting the best from the person, and by adult, we mean someone who can do anything to improve and well done. You can take your program at your own pace and time in your own schedule from your home or work. We recommend you to spend at least 10 hours per week and or one assignment per month. At AIU, we consider the student as a unique and unrepeatable individual who has specific needs of knowledge based on their own environment with a goal to learn with constant feedback, which allows them constant integration through self-learning, breaking the traditional models of simply learning in the classroom. This is why your program at AIU can be personalized 100%, meaning you will be able to design your own curriculum in which you will include the topics of your own interest to reach your particular goals. The program will be developed entirely through the student electronic section which includes access to the AIU online library. My AIU features such as TV, radio, social network, direct communication with tutors and academic advisors, and more. The AIU online library will be at your service to support your coursework and consist of billions of bibliographical references, millions of full texts, and thousands of eBooks available to all our students. My AIU Human Development allows the student to grow as an individual. This is a place where students live an evolving experience that allows them to grow in different aspects in their life to improve constantly. The whole experience allows the student to be participant of the constant evolution of other students and themselves by sharing content, experiences, and learning from them. The structure of the AIU program consists of four important phases. Phase one goal is to know where is the student coming from? Where is the student at? And where is the student going? Phase two, you will be able to design your own curriculum and to develop the courses to fulfill your needs of knowledge. This can be done by research projects, essays, practical cases, self-evaluations, publications, projects, patents, creation of companies, etc. AIU also offers to all our students an assisted program where the student can select their curriculum from a list of pre-selected courses from our database, making it easier for some students that are not familiar to the fully andragogical curriculum. Phase three consists of the proposal and development of your final thesis or final project. And finally, phase four is where you will complete all the administrative procedures for graduation. So AIU can prepare you for your completion letter, official transcripts and diploma. At AIU, we firmly believe that you are the architect of your own destiny, and we will provide you with the necessary conditions for your development. Take this opportunity to enroll so you can achieve the recognition you deserve based on your accomplishments and the knowledge you will earn during your program of studies. This way, your future will be filled with plenty of opportunities and challenges you can take. Welcome to AIU Multifaceted Students Who Break Paradigms. Today, I am going to show you the great success story of one of our great alumni who graduated from a PhD with us. His name is David Carpels. He was born in Santa Barbara, California on January 26 of 1936. His family moved to Duluth, California on 1942, and on the same year he graduated from his bachelor's degree. He has also been able to work in different areas thanks to his extensive knowledge and research skills. In 1956, he accepted a position at Remington University in St. Paul. He has served as the training coordinator for the Navy and UNIVAC. 
He has been a research analyst for General Electric. Also, he has been a math lecturer. In 1978, he began collecting historical documents as he always had a passion for history. David Corpels was also the creator of the first operating optical character recognition program. As well, he developed an artificial intelligence program that analyzed the syntax of a question, determined the meaning, and gave an appropriate answer. He is also a published author of many books, plus over 60 historical monographs relating to the Carpels Manuscript Library Museum. He completed a successful PhD in history with AIU, and thanks to his program's research, he was able to expand his museum and make it even more successful. This shows that with dedication and passion, we can achieve great things and break paradigms. Amedu is a multifaceted student who graduated from a doctorate's degree in international relations with Atlantic International University. He was born on August 25th of 1963 in Lago, Nasarawa State, Nigeria. He has served in many areas of profession in his country thanks to his wide knowledge. Some of the positions he has held are Apprenticeship Medical Officer for House Officer, Medical Officer in the General Hospital of the National Youth Service Corps. Administrative Head of the Department for the Federal Ministry of Health in Abuja, Nigeria. This is his current work position. As well, he has participated in different conferences such as the International Atomic General Assembly held in 2011 and the Nigerian Medical Association Convention in 2006, where he was the organizer. Dr. Joseph, we are very proud to see all the things you have accomplished as a professional. Congratulations. Hi there, I'm Mark Johnson. In Atlantic International University, you are not just a number. You are unique and unrepeatable. You are an individual with unlimited qualities to grow professionally and individually. With our programs that are tailored for your independence, we will provide you with the tools for success that will allow you to make your mark in the world as you break paradigms and realize that you can do much more than you ever thought. AIU has students from over 180 countries. Entrepreneurs, politicians, and more have graduated from AIU, and so can you. Stop seeing obstacles and start chasing the opportunities. Make the difference in the world and start your program now. Today, in AIU Students Who Break Paradigms, I will talk about our great alumni, Ho Ying Lo, who graduated from a master's degree in information systems with Atlantic International University. Ho Ying Lo has roots in Hong Kong and currently resides in New York City. He is the lead system analyst for a governmental project with revenues of $40 million. He is the leader of a team of 10 professionals consisting of engineers, system analysts, and project coordinators. In addition to managing teams and operations, he also managed a couple of providers in systems integration and infrastructure services for some components of outsourced projects. Ho Jin Lu, your accomplishments are admirable. Continue breaking paradigms.
My education at AIU and the program that I completed has been an excellent program to help me to further serve the students that I have and I am responsible for in the United States. The only way I could learn and continue my education after marriage and going to Liberia is online education. Their support, their flexibility in education, in programs, and in uh, giving courses is very suitable for me as a married lady and as a person who travels a lot. I believe that uh, Atlantic International University is a very unique uh, university because it offers um, customized, uh, tailored uh, programs that fits the needs and the aspirations of individuals. Hi there, my name is Brooks Gibbs. I'm a school psychologist and sociologist. I earned my master's and doctorate degree at Atlantic International University. I did a lot of research before I chose AIU. I wanted a school that would come alongside of me in my own career. I'm already very active working with K through 12 schools in the United States. And my online videos have been translated in 20 languages and uh, amassed more than 250 million views around the world. I already had this great body of work that I had been working on for the last 20 years. And Atlantic International University acknowledged that and they came alongside of me and helped create an educational pathway that would uh, really launch off the career I've already established and really take me into the future, which is creating a positive, resilient culture on campuses all around the world. And so with my academic advisor, we were able to create a learning path that would immediately help the work I'm already doing in my career. So it didn't really even feel like I was uh, only going to school. I was actually working on my career while going to school. It was like this dual path. Everything I did in school actually helped my career. And so it was a very smart move for me. I was studying and creating content already for my work. I might as well get credit for it along the way and make sure that I'm walking down a legitimate academic path. And that's where AIU uh, really became a great partner with me. So uh, great things ahead. I have at least another 20 years of work. And I really do believe that the the, the content that I create for schools, the social and emotional learning curriculum that I continue to develop will have a positive transformation in, in the culture of campuses. Uh, so I'm, I, great things ahead. I'm just getting started and I'm so thankful for AIU. Hello, I want to welcome you to the Atlantic International University's June of 2021 graduation ceremony. My name is Dr. Jack Rosenzweig and I am the Dean of Academic Affairs for AIU. As we near the end of the pandemic, I want us to recognize how the world has changed and as the world changed, so has our educational system. AIU has always been ahead of the times and while many universities have struggled to go online, AIU has already the infrastructure in order to make it possible for all of you to be here or to continue studying. Always remember this in the future, when you tell people about this momentous accomplishment. Although you aren't physically here for the graduation, I want you to virtually look around because you would be able to notice our United Nations of graduates. Some people might say this pandemic has brought destruction, but I feel that this has brought the world closer together and made us see what each and every one of us is made of. Also, please do not stop learning. Do not stop making sure that with this degree that you have earned, you make not only your life better, but the rest of the people's lives better. You must always strive to achieve not only what you think you can do, but to strive to do better than you think you can. Albert Einstein once said, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not stop questioning. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I congratulate you sincerely and welcome you to this celebration. 
Please rise for the National Anthem of the United States of America and God Bless America, sung by Ariel Rose.
that I love Stand beside her and guide her Through the night with the light from above From the mountains to the prairies To the oceans white with Dear graduates and family, welcome to Atlantic International University graduation. We want to congratulate all of our students and show all of you how special you are by helping us build this great family. 65 countries are reunited here today, representing all five continents in more than 16 languages spoken along with 25 dialects. Many of you might just hear numbers However, this is a great human success achieved by all of you. We are showing the entire world that we can work together, celebrate each other's success, cooperate, and work to solve problems. Most importantly, to respect each other's thoughts and beliefs. All of us here watching around the world to witness and cheer for our dearest family and friends. Please know that the road has not been easy, but they've certainly shown character and passion to complete it. You are a living testament that AIU is truly the United Nations of Education. Many of you have even shared with us during your program all your experience, skills, and stories that make you unique and unrepeatable, seeking for an exponential growth as professionals, but more importantly, as human beings. Thank you for being here today, and we just want you to remember that this is not the end. It's just the beginning of your journey to make the world a better place, where human rights, peace, and equality are valued in the same way that they are here. Congratulations, AIU graduates. Your names are already written in the books of AIU history. Today we are delighted to be together virtually with students from all over the world. We truly are a United Nations at AIU. Today, there are over 70 countries that are being represented by our students. Here are all the countries that are being represented today at the graduation. Angola, Argentina, Australia, Bahamas, Barbados, Bolivia, Botswana, Cambodia, Cameroon, Canada, Cayman Islands, Chile, Colombia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guatemala, Guinea-Bissau, Guyana, Haiti, Italy, Ivory Coast, Jamaica, Kenya, Lebanon, Liberia, Malawi, Mexico, Mongolia, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, Pakistan, Panama, Peru, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Rwanda, St. Lucia, St. Martin, Saudi Arabia, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Somalia, South Africa, South Sudan, Spain, Swaziland, Sweden, Tajikistan, Uganda, Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, United States, Venezuela, U.S. Virgin Islands, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mali, United Kingdom. We proudly introduce the AIU flag. We are all one. Now, please allow me to introduce the honored guests and members of Atlantic International University presiding over today's ceremony. 
Dr. Jose Mercado, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Franklin Valsin, Academic Dean and President. Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez, Provost. Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez, Chief Operations Officer and Marketing Director. Dr. Miriam Garibaldi, Vice Provost. Dr. Edward Lambert, Academic Director. I also want to welcome to our graduation our management team. Clara Folke, Special Projects Director. Juan Pablo Moreno, Special Operations Director. Jaime Rotzlovich, Dean of Admissions. Felipe Gomez, Web Design Manager. Deborah Rodriguez, Tutors Coordinator. Carlos Aponte, Telecommunications Director. Leonardo Salas, Human Resources Director. Roberto Aldret, Communications Coordinator. Maricela Esparza, Student Services Coordinator. Michael Phillips, Registrar's Office. Because AIU is an online university, you sometimes don't get to see the faces behind the scenes. So it is my pleasure to present to you the rest of the team that works so hard for you, our students. Now it's a pleasure to call upon today's first speaker, Dr. Franklin Balsin, President and Academic Dean. Doctor of Education in Instructional Technology and Distance Learning, Dr. Balsin has more than 40 years of teaching experience and has pioneered the concepts of self-learning, curriculum design, and andragogy, which are the foundations of AIU's learning model. He has developed and taught a wide array of educational courses and programs from Florida International University St. Thomas University, Florida Memorial College, and Miami-Dade College, just to name a few. He was honored among the best teachers in the U.S. by Who's Who among America's teachers. Honored as the Director of Educational Opportunity Center of Miami-Dade College as the best support program in higher learning, he has also published numerous books and articles, both in English and French. Most recently, last year, publishing a new book titled Curriculum and Course Design. Some of you know him through your student portal, but everyone at AIU knows that he is one of the main reasons that people accomplish their goals at AIU. Please welcome Dr. Franklin Valsen, Academic Dean and President at AIU. I salute all of you once again on behalf of the all-inclusive family of Atlantic International University. Every time I see students just like you, dressed up in caps and gowns, although we are in a virtual mode, I remember how joyful, delighted, and happy I was numerous times during my own graduation feast, particularly 
two major feelings never left my mind. First, my ecstasy basically meant I did it, despite multiple obstacles of all sorts. It's always like that self-confidence prophecy you hear so often in Spanish, si se puede, for yes we can, in English. Two phrases that always fly high in the air to remind us that power rest within you, ladies and gentlemen. It never comes from a school, a professor, an educational philosophy, etc. It is inside you as soon as you find out about it and as long as you take the time to tap hard on that potential. This is what Dr. Seuss understands through that bold statement, and I quote, Kid, you'll move mountains. And yes, indeed, no one, absolutely nobody, can prevent you from moving mountains, achieving your goals, witnessing all your dreams come through, and all the like. I am cheering just like you, dear graduating class of 2021, and I feel truly proud of you. And now, let me enlighten you about the second feeling that crossed my mind. And be careful, this is a confession that I am entrusting you with. Please don't tell anybody about it. When I was growing up, I cheated out a lot. But I was very skillful. Please pardon my sudden lack of restraint. It is that since first grade, and for every school assignment, I would grab any piece of work already done at three, four levels higher and crafted it with a lot of changes, paraphrasing and decorating to ultimately submit it for grading. It worked wonders every time, and my professors never stopped congratulating me. Actually, it was my own work indeed, since it was pure art just in line with that chemistry principle that matter can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed. If you expertly create masterpieces in any field out of things that exist, it becomes your original personal property, ladies and gentlemen, and no one can dare accusing you of plagiarism. This is Andrew Gargi, which you have crystallized and personified through your degrees at Atlantic International University. It's now up to you, beloved graduates, to help your families, your communities, your countries, or the entire world to genuinely enjoy impressive human abilities that were discovered through you, by you, and for you exactly like one of the best world-class teachers ever, Albert Einstein, would put it. You did it, graduating class of 2021. Excelsior, and congratulations to each and every one of you. Blessings to you and your families. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Graduates, it is my pleasure to introduce AIU Academic Director, Dr. Edward Lambert, to say a few words. Congratulations, AIU graduates. I am so happy to see you graduating. You finally have your degree. Your life will be better. Now, let's talk about your life. What is life? Life is a story. Each of our lives is a story. A movie can be made about your life story. So what is a story? Let me teach a bit. I am a professor, you know. Let's look at your story at AIU using the five basic elements in a story. First element of a story, you have the characters, which are the people in the story. Of course, you are the main character in your own story, but you probably have family, 
The people in your community and the cultures around you are important too. The second element of a story is the setting. This is where you live. What do the streets look like? What does it smell like in the market when you buy food? What career opportunities are there in your community? What is the value of higher education in your community? Now the third element of a story is the plot, which is how the story develops. You were living your life, you saw career opportunities in your community, so you made goals, you made plans for the future, you took actions to enroll in AIU and complete your AIU degree. Now the fourth element of a story is the conflict, which is when challenges arise that must be overcome to reach your goals. To complete your degree at AIU you required you to overcome many challenges. You had to choose the right courses. You needed the money to pay for your degree. You needed to study and learn. You needed to properly complete your assignments. And finally, the fifth element of a story is the resolution, which is the result of facing the conflicts and the challenges. Were the challenges resolved? Was the goal obtained? Well, in your case, yes. Here you are at the fifth and final element of your story. It is your graduation day. And now you have the happy ending to your story. You have overcome the challenges. You are graduating with your degree from AIU. You are stronger and ready to achieve the higher goals in your life. Now, as you move on from AIU, your life story will continue. Obtaining your degree from AIU closes one chapter of your life and begins a new one. May you continue to set goals and overcome challenges. May you always have happy endings like today, your graduation day. Congratulations, AIU graduates. Your stories inspire us and the people around you. Be blessed. Graduates, it is my pleasure to introduce AAU Academic Advisor, Dr. Scott Wilson, to say a few words. Hello, my name is Scott Wilson. I'm a faculty advisor here at Atlantic International University. Graduates, congratulations on your graduation. Today is a special day for you, and we are delighted to be with you here today to celebrate your special day. Graduates, did you know that there's graduates from 60 different countries today? That's truly incredible. It's hard to find a gathering like that anywhere else outside the United Nations. We are so delighted that you are here and you are very, very important to us. You know, a comm commencement is more than just a sign of knowledge that's been learned. Sure, we know you've learned a lot of things and you've gained incredible knowledge, but it's also a sign that you've made the sacrifice in order to get here today. You've had to give up a lot. You've had to give up a lot of time with on your weekends, time on your studies. You've had to simultaneously balance the needs and the wants of your family, your career, your job, with your studies. We recognize the efforts that you made to be here today. And we are so proud of you for all you've done in order to be here. At the typical graduation ceremony, it's usually said or implied, bon voyage or good luck, but not us. Instead, we say congratulations and welcome to the AIU family. We know that you're on to special things. We know about your goals. You're going to do amazing things, accomplish amazing things. You're going to have wonderful life and family experiences. Graduates, as you go on the journey of life, please take us with you. Share with us your experiences, your family situation, your career uh, progression. Please 
share with us. We're family now, and we are really excited to go on the journey of life with you. Graduates, on behalf of AIU administration, faculty, tutors, staff, we are very proud of you. We know you put in a lot of time. We know you studied hard. We know you worked very hard. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. God bless you. And now, here's a special message for you, our graduates. Hi, Steve Wozniak here on my iPhone. I'd like to congratulate Atlantic International University graduates and students for continuing to prove to the world you are unique and unrepeatable individuals capable to achieve your dreams and goals using your skills, experience, and humanity to make a better world. Please welcome Chief Operations Officer and Marketing Director, Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez, for a special presentation. With your participation today in the virtual graduation ceremony, it is symbolic of your breaking of paradigms. Just like your open learning, online, andragogic program that you navigated successfully at the Atlantic International University. You have shown that you have the determination, the purpose, the vision, and now the capability to achieve and define your goals and dreams beyond that of your journey at the university. What is the value of a university education? The value goes beyond the tuition, the degree that you plan to hang on the wall, the recognition or accreditation. The idea is that we believe that our students are the most qualified individuals to determine what will be most beneficial for their self-development, advancement, and optimal development. We allow you the opportunity to rediscover your unique and unrepeatable talents, and then to channel them to find purpose in life and achieve your dreams. Happiness and fulfillment through purpose in life. That is what we celebrate here today. In this moment, I can say that to me, this graduation ceremony is the most memorable in AIU's 22 year history. You have said no a resounding no to obstacles, large and small. No traditional program. We will not accept your obsolete, irrelevant, impractical learning model. You have said no to those who do not view higher education as a human right. 
that needs to be made accessible to the billions who lack access. In choosing AIU, you also affirm that, yes, I am unique and unrepeatable. Yes, I will apply my gifts to the maximum benefit of humanity. You have said yes to defining your dreams in phase one. Yes to purposefully defining your courses relevant to you. Yes to becoming a university of one. What does that mean? At AIU, you will have the freedom to pursue your dream. We've heard many stories of visionaries who do not complete or drop out of college, such as Musk, Jobs, Gates, Zuckerberg, Kalanick, and Larry Ellison. They did not drop out because they didn't have the ability to study, <clears throat> that they didn't want to study, or they didn't have an interest. The reality is that their dream was not facilitated at their institution. They found their dream was available and possible in the real world. And that is the real difference in the approach to education that AIU has followed for the past uh, 22 years. With that in mind, fellow alumni, I wish to sincerely thank you for having taken the AIU pledge, as all of our graduates have done as the, in the conference just before this ceremony, we all understand the higher purpose beyond ourselves and the responsibility that we have and our vital role in finding solutions to the world's problems. So, well defined by the UNESCO 2030 goals. And so we can use that as a blueprint. It covers 17 different areas where we can contribute to the betterment of mankind. And that's really what the AIU pledge is all about. And I thank each and every one of you for agreeing to have taken the pledge together with AIU, with your fellow alumni. Thank you for your contributions to AIU and your commitment to make the world a better place. The world today is encouraging you, demanding, beckoning you to share your gift, to share your knowledge, the barriers of accessing anyone have decreased tremendously. It's truly the democratization of content creation. Anyone today with knowledge in a niche area, in technology, uh, in an industry, in investment, in hobby, in education, in teaching, in mentoring, within five minutes can begin a channel a content media channel that can be viewed by billions of people worldwide. If you only have the courage to step out and share what you already know, your expertise, your passions with the world. So I welcome you and I invite you to do so. And let the world know the expert that we know at AIU that you are. We want you to become a facilitator for others to develop their maximum potential and to use your uniqueness and irrepeatability to better position yourself and others for success. <clears throat> you will be able to share the expert that you are with the world. There is no one on this planet who is better prepared to solve a problem in your company, your community, your department, your industry, your country or indeed the world than you are at this moment. You have been preparing your entire life for this. For over 22 years, the AIU mission and vision has been focused on allowing our students to utilize their program and the resources available at Atlantic International University to achieve their maximum potential and optimal human development. You will find at AIU live webinars, conferences, or seminars to assist you and to conduct micro-learning, which is the future of education. No longer are long, arduous, semester-long courses suitable for today's world. The overriding wave of learning is now in 
micro learning, micro courses, showing you a very niche uh, technology concept ability that you can apply immediately to the real world. And that's what we strive for at every step of the program here at Atlantic International University, to make the most use of your time and your program to make you the best global citizen. Students and staff have made this a reality. Thank you to those watching today. Each student outside of AIU is not alone. There are key persons who have allowed the dream and the journey to become a reality. Through technology, no microorganism can harm you. By embracing change, and having the tools to quickly adapt and learn, you will persevere. Indeed, change is all around us. Yet, questions remain and solutions are yet to be identified. In us, in you, lie the answers and innovation to address these opportunities. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are transforming every industry. The shared economy is challenging what ownership is all about, if it is worthwhile. Does it make sense to have singular ownership? Borders are no longer limiting factors. You must ask yourself, what makes you unique and unrepeatable? What are you an unquestioned expert in? the very best in the world. Your talent is no longer limited. People who are seeking talent are no longer restricted by local pools of people. The next stage of human evolution is in your hands and our hands. Socioeconomic systems will arise due to technological changes in science and because of the extremes that capitalism has also created. I challenge you to discover them and to define them. These are indeed exciting times. Our past selves could only dream and marvel at our current state. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope it inspires you to take a moment out of your busy days, in fact, more than a moment, Take a few minutes each day to go outside, take a break from it all, disconnect, and really appreciate what's important and not allow things out of your control to stress you or worry you and continue to be the great success and inspiration that you are. Congratulations, class of 2021. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. During the presentation of diplomas, you will get a chance to hear from some of our students as we highlight some of the best testimonials we've received and short interview segments from some of the best graduates of this incredible class. Don't be afraid to stand up, hug your families, and cheer when your name is called. You've earned it. Dava Bayard Chimidorj. Postdoctorate of Business Administration, Mongolia. <laughs> Maria Consuela Rivas Gleason, Postdoctorate of Education, Mexico. Miriam Quiroga, Doctorate, Psychology, United States. <laughs> to 
Puma and Inaya Anokwu. Doctorate, Public Administration and International Relations, United Kingdom. Nicanor Williams Pacheco Waman, Doctorate, Mechanical Engineering, Graduate with Distinction, Peru. <laughs> Renee Tina Lavelle, Doctorate, Education, Jamaica. Dimo Elvis Samuel, Doctorate, Oil and Gas Accounting and Financial Management, Nigeria. <laughs> Mercy Yukoko, Doctorate, Coaching and Leadership, Nigeria. Buso Mabusa, Doctorate, Epidemiology and Health Innovations, Swaziland. Rita Garcia, Doctorate, Public Health, Dominican Republic. Babajide Aminu Jabita, Doctorate, Finance, Graduate with Distinction, Nigeria. <music> Patricio Oxa Gallegos, Doctorate, Nutrition, Chile. Sunday Andrew Opok, Doctorate, Water Resources and Environmental Engineering, Nigeria. Emmanuel I. Cheng, Doctorate, Human Resources, Nigeria. Manuel Musigua, Doctorate of Theology, Uganda. My experience at AIU has been eye-opening. It has opened my eyes to frontiers beyond what I imagined before. It has been an enriching experience that shows that the future dreamed of in the past has arrived. The combination of effective online education and the andragogical model are particularly interesting. They are relevant and energizing in this age where majority remain attached to the archaic education systems and methods that have ruled for several decades beyond their profitable life. The responsiveness of the AIU tutors was also impressive. Sufficient guidance is given 
at regular intervals and when called upon, they are readily available to help. Regular communications about optional courses, events, publications and specific reminders about one's academic and financial progress are highly appreciated. Coker Polasade Aduni, Doctor of Taxation, Graduate with Distinction, Nigeria. Sharon Thangadurai, Doctor of Science, Public Health, Cambodia. Let's look at it now that I am living in an era where I am facing the biggest global pandemic called COVID-19. I would have I would have not experienced this, say, five years back or 10 years back, or if I would have born in another generation or in the generations to come. So maybe my, my birth and my living uh, in this world is unique in the sector that I'm experiencing is health global pandemic. And then I feel that why I'm not unrepeatable is that whatever I've done in doing my studies, it's unique because I'm, I'm my thesis was around last mile towards malaria elimination. So I'm talking about how do you reach of eliminating a global endemic, which is malaria? So if I'm talking about malaria around public health, right now I feel myself to be fortunate that I am in the era of COVID-19. Maybe at some down the line, I might be talking about eliminating, you know, coronavirus uh, from this whole world or eradicating as we eradicated polio would be some of my contributions. Yerka Sobeida Cabrera Moran, Doctor of Science, Biotechnology. Dominican Republic. Una institución muy responsable, tiene personal muy capacitado y son muy profesionales con mucha ética. Valoro mucho el esfuerzo que han depositado en mí y valoro mucho el tiempo dedicado. Además, he adquirido muchos conocimientos que me han ayudado a desarrollarme tanto profesionalmente como personal. Yurnova Hamida Umar Boevna, Doctor of Science, Social Science, Tajikistan. Me to feel myself real, unique, and unrepeatable person. Kampila Humphreys Nsonna, Doctor of Science, Global Health, Malawi. John Tabo Shabani, Doctor of Science. Nutrition, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Dominique Hitayetsu, Doctor of Science, Geotechnical Engineering, Rwanda. Benicolo Ibhade Tuesday, Doctor of Science, Management, Nigeria. Olan Rawaju Kazim Bakinson, Doctor of Science, Public Administration, Nigeria.
Robert Mark Burnafor Davy, Doctor of Science, Psychology, United Kingdom. Faye A. Siddiqui, Doctor of Science, Water Policy and Management, Pakistan. <clears throat> Cecilia Veronica Jaramillo de Rojas, Doctor of Science, Personality Psychology, Canada. Básicamente, el mayor porcentaje de mi trabajo se ha dirigido a mujeres que sufren violencia doméstica, por lo que mi trabajo no se hubiera visto realmente profundizado si no hubiera estudiado en ello y en los tiempos. ¿Por qué? Porque al estudiar esta personalidad humana me permitió ir en profundidad de las raíces del problema y construir mi proyecto porque yo inicialmente tenía ideas en mi cabeza de cómo hacerlo, pero realmente haber entrado a estudiar. Otra de las cosas que me gustó mucho y que me ayudó mucho en términos profesionales ha sido la, la, la información que proveen, los libros, ¿no? libros muy actuales y también no solamente libros en términos psicológicos, sino también libros de profundidad espiritual, que va de la mano en en términos de ayudar a otro ser humano, ¿no? porque en términos de psicología, en mi trabajo, no es solamente que uno tenga que ayudar a las personas con el tema de salud mental, uno tiene que hacer un balance entre lo que es físico, salud mental y espiritualidad. Yo, cuando uno estudia en el tema tradicional, uno está como más rígido dentro de ese sistema. Y, Creo yo que a veces es más difícil que uno se desarrolle, que uno explore y crezca. Yo creo que es que a uno lo encierran, es como que te meten en una caja. Yo diría eso, que el estudio tradicional es que te meten en una caja donde todos están en esa caja. Pero cuando uno entra a este programa, uno sale de la caja. Y entonces uno puede explorar más y uno tiene más libertad. Y entonces es cuando tu pensamiento ahí vuelve la parte creativa, es más libre. Jerome Colton Sills Jr. Wadi, Doctor of Science, Energy Efficiency and Renewable Resources, United States. you really want to get a good education and specialized and have a customized program tailored to your own personal needs, Atlantic International University is the place for you to go. Mario Javier Pacheco Garcia, Doctor of Science, Political Sciences, Panama. Y me ha dado mucho desde mi posición oficial. En este momento yo soy un representante del presidente de la República de Colombia en Panamá. Soy ministro plenipotenciario. Soy cónsul general de la República de Colombia en Panamá. Y estos estudios ansiaba terminarlos porque precisamente la ciencia política es hoy eh, una de las herramientas que necesitamos los diplomáticos. Y yo como diplomático estoy llamado a continuar sirviéndome, a, sirviéndole al país desde estos estadios de las relaciones internacionales que fueron avaladas y que fueron estudiadas eh, en, en, en las carreras, en los cursos que me dieron ustedes. Bueno, doctor, yo he sido un escritor por naturaleza. Tengo 67 obras publicadas, son muchas. Sí. Pero dentro de, de esas obras publicadas la mayoría han sido textos escolares, 
y por esa razón tienen alto impacto en las eh, comunidades para las cuales fueron escritos. Yo eh, soy un creyente total de que la educación debe estar ligada en los currículos al contexto. Entonces, yo no puedo enseñarle geografía de Estados Unidos a un muchacho que está estudiando en una población que se llama Neiva en Colombia, o Barranquilla, o Cartagena. Yo debo enseñar a los que están estudiando en Cartagena la historia de Cartagena. Los héroes deben ser cartageneros, el policía, el de la tienda de la esquina, que tiene unos valores de la honestidad, el valor de la honradez, el valor de la amistad, todos esos valores que hoy consideramos como competencias blandas deben enseñarse en la educación y entonces hice la Cátedra de la Paz. Adefemi Michael Debo Omidokun, Doctor of Science, Information Systems Assurance, Canada. Andy Ngoy Numbi, Doctor of Science, Microbiology, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mojan Ibrahim, Doctor of Science, Public Health, Sweden. Ivan Cruz Cruz Pedraza, Doctor of Public Health, Mexico. Kwame Adinkra Amo, Doctor of Public Health, Public and Community Health, Ghana. John Banda, Doctor of Project Management, Doctor of Project Management, Zimbabwe. Carlos Eduardo Tobar Leal, Doctor of Project Management, Venezuela. Olubukola Ayokunmi Akani, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Counseling Psychology, and Master of Science. Nur Psychology, Nigeria. Sonia Juan St. Hill, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Sociology, Barbados. Ian Leonard Emanuel, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Organizational Behavior, Jamaica. The contribution, um, you know, to, to, the, to what I have been doing has been huge. Let me put it in the context of my personal philosophy of trying, living each day to help to improve, you know, the lives of individuals, the lives of groups and of organizations. So my greatest achievement has, um, has been the opportunity to see individuals um, and ultimately organizations achieve improvement in knowledge, in skills, Um, modified behavior that they can pursue solution to critical management problems. 
problems that they have and to generally improve their organizations. Most of what I do ultimately lead to certification or accreditation to an international standard. We all are unique and unrepeatable, which is what I spoke to earlier, the fact that we all have a unique purpose. We all were made, um, you know, and we are unique in that purpose, our pathway in terms of our development, our different dreams or so, I mean, are all unique. And so I am no different from all of humanity. I would have been made unique and unrepeatable. Um, and so my contribution, my contribution as an individual, my certainly my place in family, uh, my place in community, my place in the nation and in overall humanity. Samuel Mriti Mbogo, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Development Studies, Kenya. Rafael Chamorro Mejia, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Management, Peru. Margaret Effiong Echiet, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health and Nutrition, Nigeria. <music> Leonard Michael Onyengeki Aminigbo, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Geospatial Information Systems, Nigeria. Denise Antoinette Morrison, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Project Management, Jamaica. <music> Olufemi Ayula Olawale, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Organizational Leadership, Canada. Akitunde Ajao, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Accounting, Nigeria. Simplicius Uduchukwu Anihara, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Administration, Nigeria. Daniel V. H. Kashikola, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business Management, Namibia. Branis Shitigona Shimi, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Journalism, Namibia. Agyemang Prampe, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Public Health, Ghana. <music> Lionel Joseph T. Sanchez, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Interior Design, Philippines.
Matthew Ike Maziem Anigolu, Doctor Philosophy, PhD, Development Economics, Nigeria. Colin Nyengo Olong, Doctor of Legal Studies, International Legal Studies, Democratic Republic of the Congo. John Chuo Muan, Doctor of International Relations, Australia. Sad, Doctor of Human Rights, Lebanon. Josephine Onya, Doctor of Education, United Arab Emirates. I've been passionate about the education of the girl child. And that is one of my dreams. Actually, I started an NGO with my children to be able to help girl, girls in, uh, in the villages back in Nigeria. That's my home country. You know, contribute to the schools, help the girls get educated, be able to support them. That is one, that is my dream. That's what I've been following. I want to see girls get educated. Jacqueline Martinez Irizarri, Doctor of Education, Puerto Rico. ha ofrecido un programa de estudios único diseñado para cada necesidad educativa del estudiante, ofreciendo mucha flexibilidad de tiempo, de espacio y nos aporta un, a ese desarrollo personal que tanto necesitamos. Es una educación que no es tradicional a distancia. Mohamed Abdi Ahmed, Doctor of Education, Somalia. Oduma Odiambo, Doctor of Economics, United States. Marco Aurelio Suárez Ramírez, Doctor of Dogmatic Theology, Colombia. Esta propuesta andragógica realmente es muy valiosa eh, en el nivel del aprendizaje del adulto, porque pues la mayoría de las universidades tienen eh, sus proyectos, sus eh, filosofías eh, como para el estándar juvenil, llamémoslo así. Y gracias a esta propuesta andragógica, pues yo he tenido esa experiencia de poder eh, proponer desde mis propios intereses, objetivos, eh, un avance en lo académico ¿no? y poder proyectarme en eso. Gregory Omolua Añador, Doctor of Business Management, United States. Christine Echuquit Akello, Doctor of Business and Economics. 
Coaching and Leadership, Uganda. Ruben Loaiza Chavez, Doctor of Business Administration, DBA, International Business, Bolivia. Lawrence Lanla Infimilelli Insibante, Doctor of Business Administration, DBA, Swaziland. Lefora Franz Mafete, Doctor of Business Administration, South Africa. Jean Flaubert Roger Mode, Doctor of Business Administration, Equatorial Guinea. Luis Arturo Palmesano Rivero, Doctor of Business Administration, Strategic Planning, Colombia. Clara Asubwa, Doctor of Business, Kenya. Carmen Elsa Pacheco Pulinario, Doctor of Science, Biology, Dominican Republic. Gala Solange Moody, Doctorate, Public Health, Cameroon. Santo Mateo, Masters, Electrical Engineering, Dominican Republic. Yakub Abdi Isaac, Masters, Public Health and Nutrition, Somalia. Cesar Provera, Masters, Civil Engineering, Mozambique. Alan Robert Jordan, Master of Theology, Kenya. It's been really good because I've learnt um, quite a lot, and especially using the library facilities, and it's given me the, uh, the ability to learn a lot more so I can teach that in the teaching environment that I'm in, working in Kenya. So Earl Tangoa Bernardo, Master of Science, Civil Engineering, Peru. Michael Donald Arthur, Master of Science, Agricultural Science, St. Lucia. <music> Yunji
Yuji Wilson Yai, Master of Science, Geomatics Engineering, Cameroon. At the Poju at the Inca at the Bayo, Master of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Nigeria. Agustin Caponj Chisalu, Master of Science, Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, Zambia. Lillian Serna Cartes, Master of Psychology, Child Psychology, Cum Laude, United States. También tengo publicaciones en lo que son libros aquí en Charlottesville, en, en un evento que es para la mujer. A través de muchos desafíos, la mujer debe salir adelante o sea, por más problemas. Es un libro más como apoyo psicológico para las mujeres, que aunque presentan adversidades, uno debe salir de eso, ¿no? al éxito. He estado ya cuatro años consecutivos eh, escribiendo. Son autobiografías de autopollo. He tenido, he participado en seminarios internacionales, tanto en Ecuador y ahora aquí en Estados Unidos participo con una línea de Perú que me han invitado y trabajamos mucho en el área cognitivo conductual para niños. Bruce Luaba Mudibi, Master of Project Management, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Aruna Traore, Master of International Relations, Business and Economics, Mali. Timothy Ozemebhoya Azotie, Master of International Relations, Italy. Irina Lutsenko, Master of Hospitality Management, Ukraine. Abraham B. Hawley, Master of Healthcare Administration, Liberia. Stephanie Lizanne King, Master of Education, Educational Management, St. Lucia. Danilo Rensai Joaquim Mabiala, Master of Business Management, Angola. Juan Alberto Salinas Hernández, Master of Business Management, El Salvador. Siempre encontré el material bibliográfico necesario, el apoyo del personal, una excelente plataforma que hace viable, fácil y posible poniendo a disposición 
todos los recursos académicos necesarios. Hiram Ramjawan, Master of Business and Economics, Guyana. Cosmas Kayanga Elisa Munda, Master of Business Administration and Economics, Banking and Finance, South Sudan. Sese Tadese Wondemagegnehu, Master of Business Administration, Ethiopia. Itai Andrew Mawonde, Master of Business Administration, Zimbabwe. Fairul Abdullah de Sousa Philip Ignatius, Master of Arts, Education, Singapore. Alexis Pierre Richard, Master of Accounting, Haiti. <laughs> Jesus Taveras Reyes, Bachelors, Civil Engineering, Dominican Republic. Me siento agradecido, ya que me ayudó a tener una experiencia única y repetible, en el cual pude ver de que esta universidad se enfoca en que cada profesional pueda ejercer de forma ética y responsable y tener un gran impacto en lo que es la comunidad. Charles Yamato Onkundi, Bachelors, Hospitality Administration and Management. Kenya. Maxwell Chenche, Bachelors, Accounting, Malawi. Sami Garikai Hayikosa, Bachelors, Legal Studies, Zimbabwe. <music> Fatima Darasurasao Simba Chico Chocolate, Bachelors, Accounting and Finance, Angola. Ventura Tamba, Bachelors, Systems Engineering, Guinea-Bissau. <music> Jacinta Price, Bachelors, Psychology, St. Martin. Jorge Alfredo Machuca Cerdán, Bachelors, Physical Therapy, Perú. <music> M. 
Miriam Ortega Ortega, Bachelors, Religious Theological Studies, Ecuador. Mauricio Fernández Dulce, Bachelors, Physical Education, Colombia. Rafael Moreta Frias, Bachelor of Visual Arts, Dominican Republic. Asanat Adwoa Kenny Ayilaragiwa, Bachelor of Special Education, Ivory Coast. Tatiana Lima Costa, Bachelor of Social Work, Panama. Elvira Castro Cabrera, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Dominican Republic. Alfred Panji Kasimba Mwandira, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Malawi. Vaz George Abwaka, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Kenya. Marvin Leal Hurtado, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Colombia. Saidi Asani Jawadu, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Malawi. <music> Domingo Jimenez Suarez, Bachelor of Science, Legal Sciences, Cum Laude, U.S. Virgin Islands. Nadine Badenhorst, Bachelor of Science, International Trade, South Africa. <music> Ndakachu Wubetu Gabre, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Sierra Leone. Javier Alberto Villarraga Candelo, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Colombia. Umaru Tambalamin, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Engineering, Sierra Leone.
Test Malunga, Bachelor of Science, Ecology, Mozambique. Marcela Puerto Valencia, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition, Colombia. Ligia Rosibel Barrios de Ochoa, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Guatemala. Freddy Espin Ordóñez, Bachelor of Science, Physiotherapy, United Kingdom. Laura Yurani Bocanegra Orozco, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, United States. Juan Antonio Otunga Obama Oloma, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, Equatorial Guinea. Luis Alberto Sánchez Guerra, Bachelor of Science, Anti-Terrorism Security, Cum Laude, Spain. Kalo Silas, Bachelor of Project Management, Botswana. Carlos Randolph Bueno Perez, Bachelors, Marketing, Dominican Republic. Raisa Maria Montilla, Bachelor of Marketing, Dominican Republic. Da Costa Isa Alimamade, Bachelor of International Relations, Foreign Trade, Mozambique. Pablo Javier Chami, Bachelor of International Business, Cum Laude, Argentina. que soy de toda la vida estoy acostumbrado a romper paradigmas y de crear mi propio camino para que sea único e irrepetible eh, me encantó el sistema andragógico donde yo pude crear mi propio pensum académico claudio jorge suero m bachelor of international business business development dominican republic Elizabeth Villalobos Argueta, Bachelor of International Business, El Salvador. Aida 
Pollero Galvan, Bachelor of Hospitality and Tourism Management, Cayman Islands. Lia Azucena Buñay Toledo, Bachelor of Education, Comprehensive Education, Ecuador. Euclides Jimenez, Bachelor of Criminal Justice, Dominican Republic. Ayuyor Omoyahiegbe Samson, Bachelor of Business Administration, Nigeria. <music> Joseph Alexander Moreno Alvarado, Bachelor of Business Administration, Ecuador. Oifo Makokova, Bachelor of Business Administration, Banking and Finance, Banking and Finance, Botswana. <music> Dominique Matiere Bagula Burume, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business and Management, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Wilfer Mauricio Ordóñez Delgado, Bachelor of Arts, Arts and Paint, United Arab Emirates. <music> Doris de Sousa, Bachelor of Arts, Education, United Kingdom. Rosa Eduviges Piatini Martinez. Rosa Eduviges Piantini Martinez. Bachelor of Accounting, Dominican Republic. Juan Ernesto Melo Nunez. Bachelor of Accounting, Cum Laude, Dominican Republic. Osioma Keosiso Chukwu, Certificate, Health Sciences, Nigeria. <music> Kehinde Abraham Ogunsanya, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Facility Management, Nigeria. None of our students would be here today if it wasn't for the support they received from their families. So at this moment, we want to thank the families of the graduates with this special video. See the clouds and let them be Keep every story of your songs in the breeze Sing out your wins and trials like a melody Ride the storms with your head held high We only breathe till the day we die Bring on the fire Bring on the rain Nothing can take
tops are made for you and I Morning comes when the nightfall goes Don't turn back to the road below Bring on the fire, bring on the rain Nothing can take you down Crash Congratulations, mommy, on your achievement. Your hard work paid off. Congratulations to my brother. Congratulations, Auntie Rennie, on your doctoral studies. Congratulations there, Uncle, for your engineer graduation from Atlantic International University. Congratulations, Dad, on completing your PhD, and um, a very big congratulations to you. Congratulations, big brother. Congratulations. We are so proud of you at your achievement by attaining your bachelor's degree. Hi, me. Congratulations on your PhD degree. I'm so proud of you for what you have achieved. Hey, just heard the good news. You did it. What a well deserved. I want to congratulate Dr. Ok Bafesi for the completion of his PhD thesis. Seaside, congratulations. congratulations! We would like to congratulate our father for obtaining a PhD. He is now a legitimate doctor. Congratulations! Congratulations with all my love. Congratulations! Watching you achieving this goal fills my heart. Congratulations to that! Congratulations, we are very proud of you and for your hard work to complete your doctoral. Congratulations on... So delighted to congratulate her on obtaining a degree. What a wonderful achievement. I want to say congratulations. I would like to congratulate Dad for his doctorate degree at AIU. We want to, on behalf of the family, we want to congratulate Umar Lamin for being great and very courageous and also achieving his bachelor's degree in environmental engineering. Congratulations, Daddy, for your success. Congratulations on your success and achievement. This is a dream come true. We, we love, love you and are so proud, proud of you. you. Congratulations, Dad, for your achievement. We are super proud of you. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations, baby! Congratulations! Congratulations, Congratulations. Mr. George! Congratulations. Congratulations! I want to congratulate my sweet husband for completing his master's. Congratulations, Daddy! You are my hero! Congratulations, Daddy! You are the best! Congratulations, Daddy! We are so proud of you! We are proud of you! Congratulations, Jacinta! Congratulations! Congratulations, Ma, on your doctorate in public health and nutrition. 
I wish you the best. Congratulations on your graduation, Daddy. Congratulations, husband. Congratulations on your graduation. We did it. I'm proud of we you. We did it, Dad. We did it. On this day of your graduation, it says congratulations, my dear. Congratulations! I would like to say congratulations to you, Ms. Asamat. Thank you very much for your job. Well done, a great job. Well done. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mommy, for completing your PhD at AIU. Congratulations, Mommy, for completing your PhD after all the hard work you have put in. Hello, I would like to congratulate my dad for graduating Atlantic International University. Congratulations, Daddy. I'm so, 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 so happy you've completed your doctorate degree. Proud on you. Wish all the best, my daddy. Congratulations! Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations. We are so excited. Congratulations on your achievement. Congratulations, Mom. Emily. Congratulations, Mom. Congratulations. We love you. Congratulations, Rafi. We're so, so proud, proud of you. Of you. Asalaamu Alaikum, Congratulations on the PhD. Yay! Congratulations, Sonia, on obtaining your PhD in sociology. Congratulations. Congratulations! And I want to appreciate my husband. Yeah. It's very enterprising, so hard, working, such a self-confident person, and he, he loves his family. So we have to... Congratulations! Congratulations, Dr. Veranu Shimi. Congratulations on your achievement. We are proud of you, Daddy, for achieving a doctorate in theology. May God bless you. Congratulations! Congratulations, Mama. We are very happy in the new graduation. We wish you the best in your new role. Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations, Dr. Mati Aniago, on graduating from Atlantic International University. We are here to congratulate mom and wife Doris on completion of her degree. We are just so proud in the fact that she has completed it. Mom, congratulations. Uh, we love you so much. We are so proud of you. I wish to congratulate my dad on his graduation in AIU. May God bless you. Thank you. Congratulations, Tatiana, for your company. Muchos de ustedes tienen tu vida profesional. We wish you good luck. Parabéns, Tati. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Daddy. Congratulations, Robbie. We're really proud of you. Congratulations for your accomplishment, Mom. Happy graduation, Daddy! Muchas gracias, Mom. Por haber cumplido un objetivo más en tu vida, te deseo todo lo mejor, hijo. Queremos felicitarte desde lo más profundo de nuestro corazón por este nuevo gran logro. Estamos muy orgullosos de vos. Y te amamos. Te amamos. Tío, te felicitamos por este logro. Te queremos mucho. Felicidades, amor mío. Te queremos mucho, amor. Yo lo bendiga, pa. Te deseamos muchas felicidades y te esperamos pronto. Mi hijo, me siento muy feliz porque tú hoy culminas tus estudios y has realizado tu sueño. Gracias a Dios. ¡Felicitaciones! ¡Dios te Quiero felicitar a mi hijo Marco Aurelio Suárez Ramírez por haber realizado su sueño de titularse como doctor en teología. Y doy gracias a la Universidad Internacional del Atlántico por haberle dado esa oportunidad. Felicidades, día de tu graduación. Parabéns, Mike, de la graduación. Sabemos que has escogido una de las mejores universidades del mundo para cumplir tu sueño universitario. Dios ilumine tu camino profesional. Felicitaciones, hijo, por obtener tu doctorado. 
Siempre ha sido una constante en ti la preparación profesional, buscando la excelencia y la vanguardia. Estamos muy orgullosos de ti, hijo, por tu constancia y dedicación. Tienes un espíritu de superación que será el empuje para cosechar una vida llena de éxito. Te queremos mucho. Quiero aprovechar este gran momento para darle la buena noticia de que ya acabo de finalizar mis estudios en AIU en la carrera de eh, Administración de Empresas Internacional. Así que me siento muy satisfecho porque ha sido un gran logro para mí. ¡Wow! ¡Vamos! ¡Felicidades! Gracias. Y queremos darle la gracia a la Universidad de AIU por haber permitido que él pueda realizar uno de sus grandes sueños y hacer feliz a toda su familia. Uh, a la Universidad de Administración, Uh, quiero agradecerles a ustedes por darle la oportunidad a mi madre uh, para seguir otra, otra meta de ella. Como siempre te he dicho, era una mujer de sin límites, uh, una mujer que siempre uh, busca, ser, busca ser mejor. Y um, te felicito y que te vaya muy bien en, este, en, este, uh, nuevo, uh, en esta nueva área tuya. Felicidades, mi hermana, gran ejemplo de mujer gladiadora, guerrera incansable, buen ejemplo como amiga, hermana madre a seguir. Pocas mujeres luchan como tú luchas por tus objetivos. Papi, felicidades por tu doctorado. Me siento muy orgullosa de ti. Muchas felicidades, Flaca, en este nuevo logro en tu vida. Eres el orgullo de la familia. Muchas felicidades, mi hija, por haber alcanzado un logro más en tu vida. Felicidades, mi hermana. Felicidades, tía. Hola mami, bendiciones, felicidades por este nuevo logro, estoy muy orgullosa de ti. Este es un sueño que sé que hace mucho tenías y gracias a Dios hoy lo vemos cumplido. Gracias por ser un ejemplo a seguir. Felicidades papá es mi, la amamos mucho. Le amamos papá, felicidades. Freddy, éxitos y bendiciones en tu, car en tu carrera profesional. Te amamos, papá. Besos. Besos. Javier, eres héroe, eres trabajador, eres divertido y nos das tu amor. Por eso, te felicitamos por haber culminado tus estudios en AIU. Soy consciente de que haces muchas cosas por nosotros y lo apreciamos. Mami, felicitaciones por este logro más en tu vida. Espero que todos tus sueños y tus metas se hagan realidad. Hoy es un día absolutamente especial para ti pero también para todos los que te amamos, con gran esfuerzo, con gran dedicación, con gran pasión, sacaste adelante tu carrera, te estás graduando, nos sentimos absolutamente felices y orgullosos, me siento muy orgulloso de ti. Hola Pa, te quiero enviar un mensaje de felicitaciones por haber terminado tu doctorado de Ciencias Políticas en la Atlantic International University, sabes que es un peldaño muy importante para tu carrera. En este día quiero felicitarte por el logro que alcanzaste y que sigas para adelante con el proyecto de vida que tienes. Te felicito, te amo mucho y espero que sigas adelante y vas por más. La felicito, hija. Muchas felicitaciones. Dios la guarde y la cuide. Hija de mi alma, muchas bendiciones en este día y te deseo mucha suerte. Que Dios te proteja y María Santísima, son los meses especiales para ti. Felicitaciones, hermana, en su grado, que el Señor te cuide y te proteja, te quiero mucho. Felicitaciones, hermanita, por ese logro que has logrado y, por, y que siga adelante. Dios me la bendiga. Que siga creciendo, que siga, ojalá saque el doctorado. <risa> Hola, hola tía. Tía, para nosotros es muy grato y nos llena de mucha alegría saber que a pesar de las circunstancias en las que nos encontramos podemos eh, celebrar junto con usted este nuevo logro. Felicitaciones, eh, la queremos mucho. Qué rico y qué alegría de verdad estarla acompañando en este momento. En un día muy especial para ti, en el que nos has llenado de mucho orgullo por tu perseverancia, por tus logros, por tus metas. Tita Bella, te mando muchos abrazos, muchos besos. Me alegra que estés dando un paso más en tu carrera. Te queremos mucho, eh, te deseo lo mejor. Felicitaciones y éxitos toda la vida. 
Felicidades para todos. Ayu es lo mejor. Estoy muy contento de poder doctorado y muy orgulloso de ti. Cuídate. Patricio, felicitaciones por tu doctorado. ¡Felicidades, Rosa! Muchas felicidades, papá, por el logro obtenido. Te deseamos lo mejor y que Dios te bendiga. Te queremos. Con grandes sacrificios y tu perseverancia, hoy nos llenas de inmenso orgullo por llegar a la cima de tu triunfo académico. Sin dejar ni un solo segundo, tu dedicación para tus dos hijas y para mí. Con gran alegría de tu éxito, hoy celebramos. Tu graduación, mami. Estamos súper orgullosos de ti. ¡Felicidades! En la cual nos sentimos orgullosamente de él y felicitarlo por ver culminado su maestría. Estoy muy orgullosa de mi papá por haber alcanzado todas sus metas. Primeramente, manifestar que como familia nos sentimos muy orgullosos de él, ya que sabemos de dónde él viene, eh, por todo lo que ha luchado para estar donde él está ahora. Y eh, también nos sentimos muy orgullosos porque ha logrado graduarse de Atlanta International University, como sabemos, una universidad bastante prestigiosa. Y estamos contentos porque ha culminado su maestría en gestión empresarial. Estoy muy orgullosa de mi papá, pues ha cumplido muchas metas y ha logrado cumplir este otro gran logro en su vida. Espero siga cumpliendo más. Hermanito, mamá desde el cielo y nosotros estamos orgullosos de ti. Lograste tu meta, tu tercer doctorado. Los obstáculos no te limitan. Admiramos tu, tu perseverancia. Eres modelo de vida y ejemplo a seguir. Éxitos y bendiciones. Este día queremos felicitar a nuestra mamá Elizabeth Villalobos por ese nuevo logro que ha obtenido. Estamos muy orgullosos de ti, mamá, y admiramos tu dedicación que nos motiva e inspira cada día. Estamos orgullosos de sus logros, de sus metas. Le deseamos muy bendiciones y que sigan los éxitos en su vida. Y que la gloria de Dios sea manifiesta en todo momento. Para ver si papá, por más un año de vida, por más una batalla vencida, sea papá o mejor papá del mundo. ¡Para ver! Felicidades, estamos muy contentos de tus logros, te lo mereces y te queremos mucho. Muchas gracias. Felicidades por tus logros y yo seré la siguiente en ella. Please welcome back President and Academic Dean Dr. Franklin Valson for the turning of the tassel and to confer your degrees. And to wrap things up, a symbolic but most significant movement of your graduation celebration, the tassel. This routine is simply that we're going to move it from the right to the left position. Please, let's do it properly. And now, pursuant to and by virtue of the special power vested unto Atlantic International University by the United States of America through the government of the state of Hawaii, I now officially pronounce you graduates of the class of 2021. Once again, congratulations and blessings to all of you. Thank you. I take off my hat so proud of your accomplishment. Along with the diploma that you have earned, take the things that you have learned and use the gift unique to you. You have a special job to do. Congratulations, AIU students. You did it. Congratulations, graduates, for being disruptive and innovative. Now go conquer the world. Today is the best day of AIU because you become a member of alumni's family. Congratulations, my dear graduates. Congratulations on your well-deserved success, AIU student. And the best wishes for your next adventure. Felicidades por ser únicos e irrepetibles, romper paradigmas y este logro. Ahora los espera un futuro lleno de posibilidades. Congratulations, EIU graduates. You're opening a door to higher dimensions. You're moving toward your maximum potential. May your lives be full of sustainable blessings. Congratulations, EIU graduates, on being disruptive and innovative. Go change the world. Es un día mágico e inolvidable 
que estaremos celebrando con alegría. Has conquistado una meta. Por eso queremos felicitarle por este gran paso a su vida. Espero que el éxito de hoy sea el comienzo de un futuro brillante. ¡Felicidades, graduados! ¡Felicitaciones, graduados de IU! ¡Sigan rompiendo paradigmas! ¡Felicidades, graduados, por cumplir con sus objetivos! ¡Congratulations, class of 2021! ¡You did it! ¡Continue breaking paradigms! Remember that the key to success is what you become of what you think about, and here you are, an AIU graduate. Congratulations! Congratulations to all our students. You have proven to be unique and unrepeatable. Congratulations, graduates. You are one step closer to achieving your goals. Congratulations, AIU graduates. I am sure you're going to make a positive impact in your community and in your country. All the best. Estoy aquí para felicitarlos a todos ustedes y para felicitar también a sus familias que al igual que todos nosotros está orgullosa de ustedes. Estoy aquí también para recordarles que un día ustedes tuvieron un objetivo, tuvieron un ideal y que gracias a su dedicación, a su responsabilidad, a su amor y su trabajo han logrado concluir ese sueño hoy. Cada uno de ustedes, bachelor, master, doctorado, postdoctorado, Estoy segura que contribuirán con todo su trabajo a un mundo mejor. Estoy segura que serán graduados únicos e irrepetibles y que con su trabajo van a aportar a una sociedad para lograr que los derechos humanos y los 17 objetivos de la UNESCO que tanto necesita el mundo sean cumplidos. Sé que contribuirán con un granito de arena a que todo esto sea posible. Sé también que todos ustedes tienen un ideal, tienen una meta, luchen por él, trabajen por él, logrenlo. Yo sé que todos ustedes lo pueden conseguir. Al igual que todos nosotros en EIU, están comprometidos con un mundo mejor. Están comprometidos con ustedes, con sus familias, con sus empresas y con todo el entorno que los rodea. Vamos por ello, lo podemos lograr. On behalf of the entire AIU family, I want to thank you for joining us today for the virtual graduation, and I want to congratulate all of our graduates and their families. Take care, and thanks for watching.
Congratulations, graduates.